I think this time I might remind us to be an NTV and your host of uh, the, uh, the of the Iluka Beach Resort to come out and just say a few words. Would you welcome Mr. Peter Menendez? Yeah. Thank you Paul. Thank you. Well we've gone over time tonight. I'm sorry about that. You realise the, that. You realize the penalty rates? I do realise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, just can I get Daryl to put the house lights up just for a second? Are you there Daryl? There's a few people that we must thank after 17 years of music hall and 10 years at the iLuca and I just start by thanking the staff who are That's every department handles this show, that's reception, maintenance, the kitchen, uh, the, the, the waiting staff in this room of course, uh, even the housekeepers that clean this room. So they've all had a part in this show over the years. Um, ten years at the island is a long time, Paul. I know this. Um, did the house lights come up? So you can see what's going on down here? No, you can't see what's going on down here. Lights on, please. There's a few people there in the room that have been here a long time. Daryl in the bar. I'm sorry, Grant in the bar. Daryl in the room. Margaret. Cindy. Um, a, a man that's spent ten years cooking meals. Can you imagine how many steaks he's turned in 10 years? That's Louis, who's standing up for that. Louis, you know. Peter, can I just join you? Just join you in thanking your staff, and you're quite right. We wanted to mention all of them, and I'm glad that you did. And I know it's very naughty to mention anybody particularly, but Luigi, I think you'll agree, has been just for all of us such a wonderful chef. Uh, he's just served hundreds of tons of people, and I can honestly say, in all my career in the entertainment industry, I've never worked with a nicer guy. And I can honestly say that I never remember one night through 10 years when we were disappointed in the wonderful work that he did. So, for all his staff, all Peter's staff, and for Luigi, it's a big thank you. Thank you. Very much. kitchen crew that have been there right down to whoever washes the dishes which is raised up in somewhere too. <laughs> he's got to wash the dishes. Um, Jan Single, where are you Jan? Yeah. 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 Jan is our sales and promotions lady who has continued to fill this room for many years. Come up on the stage with us Jan. <laughs> Jan was an orchestra before, as well before then. Uh, who else am I going to say? Amy's out there. Where's Amy? Amy, 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 is Amy, Amy, Amy's from our office without Amy. She pays us. Amy pays our wages. Amy, come up, Amy. And Lisa, come up to Lisa. Those are only three people that are here tonight They're from our office, and I think it would be nice if they join us. And some of you all staff too. Peter, it would be nice if they came up on the I think all our staff could come up here because they really deserve it. Come on, Louie. Come on, Louie. Louis, come on, Beryl. Check you. Oh. Amy, come on. Lisa, there. Come on, Lisa. Look out for Amy. Um, yeah. Yeah. You may wonder what happens. Beryl's just checking. You probably wonder what happens in this area and the room above in the, next, in the, in the years to come. But this whole hotel is being refurbished at the moment, and uh, this area will be multifaceted bars, restaurants and an entertainment complex which hasn't been on the Gold Coast for 20 years, except for Paul's show of course. So in the next six or eight months you'll see this completely transformed. Paul of course is carrying on to wherever you are on the Gold Coast, Paul hasn't told, he's told me. But so it's a secret you. for just a day or two. And, and of course in Brisbane. Yes. Um, Beryl's here. Yeah. And, and the cast of this show is, is unbelievable. I'm telling you, to, to work with a cast like this is, is fantastic. They're all fantastic friends to us at the iLuca. You've got David May on the piano, the world's greatest pianist. You've got Louise in the show, in the show here, the world's best dancers. Romano Dragoni, the world's greatest tenor. Uh, 
My favourite singer, Sheila Bradley. Oh, Susie Sharon, Susie, sorry Susie. If she dies, she dies. If she dies, she dies. It would be nice if Peter came up too and joined us because they're still with Peter and Maggie. Peter and Maggie. One important person. Tony, Tony. One important person who runs all this lighting and sound and, and curtains and it all happens all at the right time is Lionel Spencer over here. Come out here, Lionel. Come on, come on. And of course, a gentleman that is a, a treat to work with all the time the most professional guy you'll ever see is Paul Sherrod. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm off. I'll leave it to them, but I suggest you stand up and give them a round of applause. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You're very kind. Mr. Sherrod, it's my turn. Well, I got pushed out at the beginning of the show, but this time I volunteered. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of all of you, the cast, and guests and friends, I would like to present the finest boss in show business I've worked for. And I've got the money to prove it. 20 years I've been with Paul, and seriously, he's been a fine man, a compassionate man, and a very talented man. And that's why we've always stuck by. I give you Mr. Paul Sharon and a little present, Paul, from all of us. Okay, we won't prolong it any longer. We'll uh, just say thank you very much indeed to all of you, to all our dear friends. And I wish I could uh, say how nice it's been, and it's been a great pleasure. But we are going to see it. It's not the end. It's the end of an era, but the beginning, hopefully, of a new one. Thank you, Peter, very much indeed for your uh, help and your staff. And uh, we look forward to seeing you all again in the near future. Have a safe journey home from all of us to all of you. Good night and God bless you. Bye-bye. <laughs>